In this chapter, we will continue to use the powerful organizational tools in the library. Soon these tools will become second nature and you will be able to quickly customize the library to suit your own unique style and workflow. Remember, as stated in the library introductory chapter, the library plays a key role in managing your elements for all types of projects. Whether it is a simple file transfer or complex editing project, you will find all your assets in the library. The library has quick tabs for convenient access to frequently used elements such as media, projects, collections, or creative elements. You can create your own tabs quickly. Simply click the Add New Tab button. You will see that a new tab has been created at the top of the library and initially shows all your library media. You can now click on any category in the tree at the left to select the media to display on that tab. If you filter the library by using the rating, tagging, or search features, the filter will also be remembered for that tab. The same tabs will also show in the mini version of the library when you are in the DVD or movie editor. You can also delete tabs by clicking the X in the corner of the tab. Organizing your library using tabs will save you lots of time later. Another way of gathering and organizing frequently used creative elements is by creating a collection. Let's start by clicking the Create a New Collection button. Let's name our collection. A new collection is created and is now waiting for you to fill it with various elements that you will use in your project. Let's drag and drop some items into our collection. We can now click on the collection and see just the items we have added. Avid Studio includes hundreds of media and creative elements, including transitions, effects, and menus, and anything in your library can be added to a collection. Creating a custom collection is a great way to find and access your favorites quickly. Avid Studio has a powerful feature called Scene Detection, which splits your video clips based on changes in the video. In the library, let's select a video that has no scene detection yet. Video clips that have a slight drop shadow box have scenes detected already, like this video. This video clip does not. So let's determine the scenes on this clip by right-clicking and select Detect Scenes by Content. A process will start detecting scenes. You have a checkbox choice of showing the scenes in the library when scene detection is completed. Let's not use this here yet. Once again, when the process is complete, you will see a drop shadow box on the thumbnail. Now let's show the scenes by right-clicking on the thumbnail and selecting Show Scenes. Or by clicking on the Scenes button on the library toolbar. 
The library view will display clips that were created from your longer video. Once you are displaying scenes, you can open the player window and manually split the clip by using the razor tool at the bottom of the player window. Your scenes can now be added to a collection. Once they are in a collection, they can be rated, named, or tagged just like any other media. Remember, when you want to go back to the normal library view, close the scene view window by clicking the close scene view button. The search window allows real-time search capabilities of the library by using names or tag information. Let's type S K Y. All files that have the word sky in the name or tag will be filtered and shown in the window. Click the Clear Active Filters button to close the filtered view. The Avid Studio Library workflow speeds up media organization and keeps the creative juices flowing. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class on Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class on Demand's Complete Training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.